Alrighty, everybody. Well, we have now successfully completed Portal 2. Uh, a very fantastic game. Valve should be proud. And I like this background with, you know, all the crap that Wheatley's done. Everything like that. Very nice. Very nice. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see. I want to do extras. Now, uh... With the problem with a blind playthrough is that you miss all the secrets, you, in this case, miss a lot of funny dialogue, and don't get all the achievements in the first go, yada, yada, yada. Let me take a look here. Um, do, 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 16 <laughs> out of 50. So, yeah, at least I got the part where he kills you. Um, but yeah, uh... I want to um, get a lot of... I got like all the ones that you can't miss, pretty much. I want to um, place a cube on a button without touching the cube. That should be fun. I'm not going to get all the achievements. That's not part of the extras that I'm going to do. Part of the extras I'm going to do is this right, this very obvious button called extras right here. See what the hell all this stuff is. Um, and then I'm going to go back. And I don't know if I'm going to have to make a new game or continue game. It might be fun to do a developer's commentary <laughs> one of these days where you actually go through. It's it's kind of like for you guys who don't know, it's essentially, you know how DVDs can have like the director or some of the actors or whatnot. I prefer it when it's, you know, somebody who actually has something to do with the movie rather than an actor. But um, they like talk through the whole thing, describe it, and you learn some uh, trivia and whatnot. Same thing, Valve does that for a lot of their games. Uh, you can actually play through the game, and there'll be these little speech bubbles. You interact with the speech bubbles, and you'll hear a developer or a programmer or something like that, uh, and they'll talk about uh, what inspired this, or a little backstory. You might hear something that you didn't really know about the game. It's pretty cool. I don't think I'll be doing that. Um, perhaps. It doesn't look like they keep that many saves, unfortunately. Um, damn. And a new game. Aha! So I can, okay. I can go to any chapter I want and get all the extras. Okay, that makes life easier for me. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing first for this extras edition of Portal 2 is I'll be going, checking these things out first. And then I'll go into the game, and I'll do my best to find all the Easter eggs. Um, we'll go into that more after I do this, because I've had a long enough freaking intro. Let's go and meet the bots, Atlas and Peabody. Oh, there you go. These next tests require cooperation. Consequently, they have never been solved by a human. That's where you come in. You don't know pride. You don't know fear. You don't know anything. <laughs> You'll be perfect. <laughs> oh! Test chamber completed. Continue testing. Oh man, co op is gonna be fun. Continue testing. <laughs> Continue testing. <laughs> The two of you have forged an excellent partnership. Now it's time for your real purpose. Oh. Don't disappoint me. Or I'll make you wish you could die. <laughs> My god! 
Oh, co-op looks awesome. I can't wait. I'm definitely going to be doing that. Oh, okay, so wait a minute. This is just a teaser video. Ah. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do all these. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do all these. It's been a long time. How have you been? <laughs> I think we can put our differences behind us for science, you monster. <laughs> Isn't that the one they showed at E3? I can't remember. You know, I wonder, YouTube's so goddamn picky anymore, like, if some obscure European company did the sound for that, they're gonna be like, you can't show this video in the region of Amsterdam because it's got this soundtrack in it or whatever. Probably that doesn't happen. Let's keep going with these. These are the things they showed on Steam, I think. Dave Johnson here. Fact. The key to any successful cooperative test is trust. And as our data clearly shows, humans cannot be trusted. The solution? <laughs> robots. Then fire the guys who made those robots and build better robots. <laughs> then run those robots through a regimen of trust exercises, creating a foundation of mutual respect, reinforced by the simulated bonds of artificial friendship. Inspiring stuff. And finally, <laughs> we put that trust to the test. <laughs> Bam! Robots gave us six extra seconds of cooperation. Good job, robots. Dave Johnson, we're done here. <laughs> seriously, guys, if you don't own Portal 2, get Portal 2. I mean, seriously. why? Get, pay, buy this game. Jesus. You want a real freaking game. Dave Johnson here. This is a test chamber. Four walls, ceiling, and a floor. Good enough for science. Not aperture science. <laughs> Gentlemen, I give you panels. The planks of tomorrow. Fully configurable. Infinitely variable. <laughs> Safe. Aperture brand panels will assist your test subjects every step of the way. That is not a panel. That's a crusher. We sell them too. <laughs> There you go, guys. More explanations as to how all that works. I've seen a lot of these. If not Dave Johnson here, introducing the consumer version of our most popular military-grade product. Hi, hello. The turret. How do we get so many bullets in them? Like this. Plus, we fire the whole bullet. That's 65% more bullet per bullet. This is the same technology we've been using on robots for decades. <laughs> Scares the hell out of them. They come in hundreds of designer colors, including forest, desert, Different. table, uh, evening at the improv. What idiot picked these? <laughs> then we box them up and ship them straight to your doorstep. So you can protect the things that matter most. Good night. Just try and get close to that baby. <laughs> your funeral. Gabe <Hey>, Johnson, <laughs> we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I saw that one. Oh my god. Look, if you're... <laughs> oh, look, if you had something to do with the making of these freaking videos, don't, like, ban my video on YouTube. I'm selling your product. People will want to buy your game if they see these freaking videos, okay? Hello, investors. Dave Johnson here. Now, I know you've sunk a lot of money into the dual portal device, but I'm here to tell you we're not banging rocks together over here. We know how to make a quantum space hole. Carolyn? See? Portal here, portal there. <laughs> Look at this thing go. Now, we have run into a reproducible human error problem. 
A lot of expensive equipment getting broken. But don't worry, Cave took care of it. Gentlemen, I give you the long fall boot. Think of it as a foot-based suit of armor for the portal device. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's expensive as hell. But check this out. We told this test subject to just go ahead and try to land on her head. <laughs> she can't do it. Good work, Boots. So anyway, we're between banks right now. Just make those checks out to cash. Cave Johnson, we're done here. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Boots explained. <laughs> oh, the comic of the lab rat. Here we go. How can I make this larger here? Oh, I guess that's as large as it can go. Alright. Yeah, does this look familiar? This should explain a lot, you guys. We're gonna find out who's been painting all these pictures now. You ready for this? Reality is a story the mind tells itself. An artificial structure conjured into being by the calcium ion exchange of million synaptic frings. Oh, firings. Jesus Christ. Let me try this again. <clears throat> Reality is a story of the mind tells itself. An artificial structure conjured into being by the calcium ion exchange of a million synaptic firings. A truth so strange it can only be lied into existence. And our minds can lie. Never doubt it. What's this? Real or just my lying mind again? Can she truly be awake after all this time? No, just a figment. If she were real, the turrets would see her too. Target acquired. The end is finally upon us. For the end times. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna pay you. Oh no, the cube is talking to him. Don't do it! I have to. Please try to understand. <laughs> we put cameras in the cameras. He'll never suspect. Genius! The cube root of 2x is irrational. If x is irrational. Prescription Doug. Alright, so this guy's name is Doug. Come on, you don't need those anymore. You're fine. It's been so long. I've been saving these last two for this day. I'm going to need a clear head for what has to come. For what is to come. This will be the end of us. There are moments when I can almost see the underlying grammar of this place. Impossibility, some mad architect's opus, a relic from an age that could never have been. It's metastasized amalgam of add-ons, additions, and appropriate building itself out of itself. Beautiful and terrible. And like anything cloned from a cancer cell, probably immortal. Stay to the right, turrets ahead on your left. Whatever you say. Another mural to mark the occasion. Where is this girl now? On her way into the final chamber. You mean... with her? She doesn't have a chance. She has more of a chance than you th think. <laughs> That's right, people. The main heroine's name is Shell. I'm gonna pronounce it Shell. Because it's a very European spelling of the name, and I think a European pronunciation of it would be shell. Boom! Uh, what was that? The room shook itself to pieces. Are you okay? 
like an unbalanced. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, this panel comes first. Are you okay? The room shook itself to pieces like an unbalanced centrifuge. I heard an explosion. What could it mean? I mean, that's what I think Companion Cube sounds like. The only thing it can mean. She did it. It's over. The ultimate systems crash. It's been a hell of a morning. You missed all the fun. We had to hit it the kill switch again. Henry, you have a strange idea of fun. Hey, we're lucky to be working on this. You got a strange idea of luck, too. Think about it. Every generation gets some new frontier to tackle. Einstein got relativity. The NASA Cowboys got the moon. All in the easy, all the easy stuff is taken. I mean, take a look around you. We're on the bleeding edge here. Artificial consciousness is the next frontier. But every time we turn it on, it takes a sixteenth of a picosecond before it tries to kill us. Sixteenth of a picosecond. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's less than nano. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Last time was a tenth of a picosecond. See, we're making progress. I'm telling you, this is our generation's moonshot. Gabe Johnson here. You lab boys, quit your yapping and get back to work. This has been a pre-recorded message. I'd rather have gone to the moon. Where is the girl? Didn't she didn't stay to check out her handiwork? She must have gotten out, probably on the surface, soaking up some sun. I'm sure you're right. What is this sun of which you speak? And she has the right idea. Come on, we're wasting daylight. Watch out for the turrets! The queen may be dead, but this hornet's nest has been kicked. Freedom! My eyes, my eyes! Shh! I hear something. Quick, get down before it sees you! No, it's dragging her back inside. Hey, Doug, can I get a hand here? Uh, sure. Just reach inside past all those gears and turn on the power supply. Wait a sec, safety first. Are you right handed or left? Right. Better use your left hand then. Why? Just in case. What is that thing, anyway? Just the latest in AI inhibition technology. You can think of it as a conscience. If that's all... <laughs> if that's all you use to control her, it won't be enough. Why is that? You can always ignore your conscience. You don't have to go back in there. I can't just walk away. You're right. Walking is too slow. Run away. Running is what I've been doing. Running and hiding. It's why you're still alive. You're not a hero. Heroes die. You don't understand. It's my fault she's down there. I'm not leaving her. I would have been trapped forever if not for her. Listen, it's too dangerous. You're going to get killed. So be it. But I'm done running. I have to at least try to save her. Then you really are crazy. To be continued. <laughs> oh, wow. We still got a lot more of this. I'm not feeling so good. Those pills you took. I think the medicine is starting to work. Soon, you won't need me anymore. I'll always need you. I don't think you will. No. They've already put her in long-term relaxation. I need to get up to cryo control, but the turrets blocked the way. Her cryo chamber. Something's wrong. Life support has been compromised. The explosion blew the main grid. Her chamber is offline. All the cryo chambers are offline. Dun dun dun. I'm only gonna get one chance. I have to cross the room, get past the turrets, jump the rail, then dive in right, <laughs> left or right to avoid being shot. Okay, I dive left or right. Hello? You still back there? Left or right, don't make me guess. I'm running out of time. Well, ready or not. Ah! Must stay conscious. Oh man. The Enrichment Center would like to announce a 
new employee initiative force voluntary participation. If any Aperture Science employee would like to opt out of this new voluntary testing program, please remember science rhymes with compliance. Do you know what doesn't rhyme with compliance? Neurotoxin. <laughs> Due to high morality rates, you may be reluctant to participate in the new initiative. The Enrichment Center assures you that this strictly selfish impulse on your, your part... This is a strictly selfish impulse on your part, and why can't you love science? Like, insert co-worker's name here. <laughs> oh, God. And now there's just you. All the others are dead. You've avoided capture for weeks. What makes you so different? Ah, uh, delusions of persecution, pathological paranoia. It's all right here in your file. Have you refiled, have you refilled your prescription lately? Bite me. Schizophrenia is culturally bound, is a culturally, ah, oh, fucking shit. Schizophrenia is a culturally bound phenomenon. Its pattern of expression is filtered through the cultural substrate in which its symptoms develop. In technological societies, this manifests as delusions of surveillance and belief that advanced technology is deployed against you, usually with some vague, unseen other out to get you. You're not vague. You're pretty damn specific. If you continue to selfishly evade me, you're go it's not going to reflect well in your file. Of course. The files. I can't see you, but I know you're in there. It's just a coincidence that you've been diagnosed with schizophrenia and now believe I... <laughs> is it just coincidence that you've been diagnosed with schizophrenia and now believe a homicidal computer is out to get you? Come on, how likely is that? I mean, really, you're a scientist. What is more likely that you're being chased by a homicidal computer or that this is all just the paranoid delusion of an unstable mind? Why not come out of there and you'll see none of this is real? I'd ask you to think outside the box on this, but it's obvious your box is broken and has schizophrenia. <laughs> oh, speaking of boxes, do you know that thought experiment with the cat in the box with the poison? Theory requires that the cat be both alive and dead until observed. Well, I actually performed the experiment dozens of times. The bad news is, is that reality doesn't exist. The good news is we have a new cat graveyard. Oh, man. Why are you in the file room anyway? What could you possibly be doing? Yes, this is the one. In the event you don't survive the testing process, DNA may be harvested from your body with your consent and used to create clones in the furtherance of science. Failure to survive the testing process shall be viewed as granting consent. Also, clones don't have souls, just so you know, like twins. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. I wonder if these names are people who had something to do with, like, the game here. And then, of course, here's, a um, Shell. James Murray. That name sounds familiar to me. It has to be her. Since the installation of my new morality core, I've lost all interest in killing. Now I only crave science. I'm pleased to hear that. I find myself drawn to the study of consciousness. There's an experiment I'd like to perform during Bring Your Cat to Work Day. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wonderful. I'll have the box and the cats. Now I just need one more thing. What's that? A little neurotoxin. Well, as long as it's for science. <laughs> Doug gets it. How long have I been out? Long enough. You're back. I never left you. There's something I wanted to ask. How did you know about the girl? Know what? That she was the one. Something in her file. She had the highest IQ? No, somewhere higher. And she was the fastest, the most athletic? No, nothing like that. Then what? A hunch. You might still be able to save her. What? How? I can't get to her cryo chamber. You can't free her, but you might save her. You can patch her cryo unit into the reserve grid. You can reset the fuses and restart her life support. 
if it's not too late already. But even if it works, there'll still be no wake-up date. She'll be in there indefinitely. So it's the long sleep. Or the long sleep. And I don't know which is worse. Forgive me. It worked. Sleep well. Both alive and dead until someone opens the box. Maybe it's time I slept too. I'm so tired now. You've earned the rest. You see, I told you I would always need you. Oh, yeah, this stuff here. Tenacity level. Do not test. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that Shell's tenacious, if nothing else. Well, that was extremely interesting. Uh, what is his name? His name is Doug... Doug Rat... something. Rat... Ratman. Doug Ratman? Doug Ratman, yeah. I'll put, like, his name on the screen now so you can see the spelling and everything like that. So this was his story. He was behind the scenes of Portal, um, coercing, uh, Shell into getting to GLaDOS and, uh, killing her the whole time, leaving the message the cake is a lie and everything. Now we know who finally left that message! Thank God! Thank you, Valve! Thank you! <laughs> that was nice of you. I appreciate that. Because it's nice to know who finally freaking left all those messages and the paintings and whatnot. Um, as for him surviving, I, you know, there's a speculation and whatnot. He climbed in that thing, so who knows? I don't think he did. Because, you know, right from the very beginning, you jump down and that thing is broken, right? So I don't think he survived the apocalypse. Um, however, I mean, good for him. <laughs> So how interesting, the first game portal was all due to a scientist who survived GLaDOS using the neurotoxin on everybody. And now we know how GLaDOS got the neurotoxin. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, that should explain quite a lot and I hope you all enjoyed the voices. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to make him a really bad snake, solid snake, but whatever. Alright, now what's this? The Super 8 Interactive Teaser. All right, on the off chance that I just cut that out right now, uh, that was a uh, interactive preview for a movie. Has nothing to do with Portal whatsoever. It's a movie coming out called Super 8. Um, it was fun. I might include just for my reaction, but um, yeah, absolutely nothing to do with Portal 2.